Hi everyone, this is Nathan with ebookreader.com. I'm going to show you guys how to get landscape mode on the Kindle Touch today without jailbreaking or hacks or anything like that. So the developers over at Mobile Read uploaded this uh, audio file that you can uh, put on your Kindle Touch uh, and use this audio file to get it to go in landscape mode. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but uh, I'll show you how it works. So what you do, I'll put the download link below this video and um, in the written review as well. Um, what you do is you download this MP3 file, and then you um, put plug your Kindle into your computer with the USB cable, and then put the MP3 file uh, in the music folder on the Kindle. So then what you'll do is you'll come into your Kindle Touch after you disconnect it from your computer, hit MP3 player, and then um, you bring up this option right here. So if you have other MP3s on here, you're going to have to navigate to your file uh, that you downloaded. So there is two different options that um, I downloaded just now. Uh, there's one with these bigger buttons, and then there's this one with these smaller buttons. So let me show you how this works. Um, we go and open up an ebook. And so the audio player, when you have the audio player active, uh, you can access that from hitting the menu whenever you hit the menu up here. So this is how we uh, do this. Let me use the bigger one so you can see um, you got these buttons right here for left, right, up, uh, down doesn't seem to do anything. Um, as you can see with this one, you can't hit the volume buttons down there if you actually have the audio player. Um, with the smaller buttons one version here, um, we've got the audio player down here. So what you do is you just hit left or right, wherever you want to rotate it, and then hit play, and it will rotate the screen. Oftentimes, it, for me, it does open up either X-Way, Ray, or the text options, but then um, we're good to go. We've got landscape mode. So there's a couple of bugs that will probably get worked out. Um, with time because they just uploaded this here like a couple days ago. Um, one thing is if you have partial page refresh enabled it will stop turning pages after six pages in landscape mode so you'll have to hit the menu up here and then go like that to get it to work again or you can do just what I did and enable full page refresh and it works every page. So the Kindles kinda has the same deal with the uh, in portrait mode so you can tap anywhere and it'll page forward and then over here on the left edge you get the page back and then you've got the menu by hitting the top button and then like I said you can just hit the other rotation if you want and then hit play and it will rotate it that way. So uh, a couple other things that work we've got the you highlight and you can use the uh, dictionary you can also add highlights one problem though is adding notes the keyboard cuts off the save button down here on the note so you can actually add the note but you can't actually do anything because there's no way to close the keyboard um, at least I haven't found a way to do that, so that's kind of a bug so far. The only way I can get out of that is by hitting the home. Uh, so as you can see, the landscape won't work on the home menu. Uh, it will work on the ebooks. I tried a few PDFs, and the PDFs is really kind of hit or miss with. Some of them it works, some of them it doesn't. And a lot of times when you load a book, at first it'll be like either whited out or blacked out right there. You have to turn the page to get it to go. So the PDFs, it's kind of hit or miss. It doesn't work as well as with the ebooks I've found. Uh, another thing, it doesn't work when you hit up there to access the menu. You have to double tap. Then you get the menu. So that's just kind of a cool workaround for uh, landscape mode on the Kindle Touch. Um, check out the ebookreader.com. I'll have the written review, uh, the written instructions on there, and the download link for the MP3 file. So thank you for watching.